Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Princess Harmon. If you're new here, if you're not, hey girl. Um, if you are new here, this channel is all about self-care routines, self-preservation, girl talk. We do shower routines. We do feminine hygiene routines, um, girly chit chat. So if you're interested in any of those things, go ahead and stick around. We'd love to have you be a part of our family. So if you are interested, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So this video is gonna be about how to shave your girl downstairs. That's right, how to shave your girl um, to prevent ingrown hairs, to prevent razor burns, all of that. Um, I'm someone who is prone to ingrown hairs and razor bumps and I have been for basically my entire teenage life and so I feel like I have I've mastered how to shave down there without getting razor burns and without getting ingrown hairs. If you are one of those girls who are not into taking on laser hair removal or waxing um, for many reasons like financial reasons or it just hurts then you are like me and I'm just going to give you guys a few tips on how to shave down there and how to maintain that area over time. I'm going to recommend a few products that are going to help prevent hyperpigmentation. Basically, the darkening of the skin down there after you've gotten ingrown hairs and after they've sort of healed as well. So we're going to talk about all of that. Of course, the first thing we should talk about is... The razor that we're using the razor we are using is so 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 very important on this side of the screen i'm going to put a picture of the razors that you don't really want to be using and then on this side of the screen i'll put a few razors that have worked in the past and that people are raving about and the girls are saying that they are obsessed with because they really do work so for bad razors these are razors that are single blade double blade um, sometimes the triple blades they will leave razor bumps, but it depends what um, what brand. But if you really want to get a close shave, you need to make sure that you're using razors that are at least four or five blades. Um, these razors, they tend to be more expensive, but they are more expensive because they give you a closer shave. Closer shave is what you're looking for to reduce ingrown hairs. So we can spend hours and hours and hours talking about razors that do work razors that don't work but the most important thing to understand and to keep in mind when you're buying these razors um to shave down there is that you want more blades the more blades the better that's why you'll hear people that's why you'll hear women talking about using men's razors to shave down there if they do shave men's razors they do give a closer shave because they're used to remove hair from beards and and chest hair and all of that um so they're usually made for thicker, coarser hair, so they will tend to work on some people. Personally, men's razors, they still give me ingrown hairs, right? So over the years, I've tried a few of them, I've tried a handful of them, and they still give me ingrown hairs, even with exfoliating and following up with the regimen that we're gonna go more in detail about. So, so the razor that I swear by and that I recommend that you use if you want to get rid of those ingrown hairs after shaving and you want a razor that's high quality and made specifically for the pubic hair region is the Venus Pubic Hair and Shave Razor. You can find that at Target. Um, that's where I get mine. But this razor, I'll leave, I'll leave pictures up on the screen. But this razor is so good. Like it's specifically designed for pubic hair removal. Um, not like the other razors where they're not necessarily tailored to remove pubic hair, but you can still use them in that area. If you are someone who hasn't shaved in a very long time and you do have a lot of hair down there, obviously I would recommend first trimming those hairs, cutting with scissors, or getting like a actual trimmer from the store. You can buy those. Um, that's specifically for trimming pubic hair before you go in with the razor. And the only reason I say that is because if the hair is long down there, the razor is going to have a harder time getting a closer shave, right? It only makes sense. So make sure that if you're someone who hasn't shaved in a long time, that you go ahead and do a little, a, a little quick trim down there and then you go in with the Venus razor. Chef's kiss. If you really got a lot of hair down there, make sure you get at least two blades. I would recommend two blades because the first time I used it, I only used one blade and it removed the hair and I felt okay with the results but 
I feel like it would have been more effective to have a second blade. You can see that as like a con, but I don't really see that as a con because I'm going to have to use two different um, cartridges to get the desired effect in the long run and not get ingrown hairs and, and razor bumps and stuff like that. I'm going to take that, right? So the Venus pubic hair and skin razor is like top tier. I would definitely recommend that razor if you suffer from ingrown hairs, from razor bumps, any of that stuff after shaving. So now that we're done talking about the razor, what's just as important is your regimen and your routine after you shave. So the weeks, the days, the weeks after you shave, I think if you're going to shave down there, you probably should shave every week to every two weeks, depending on how fast your hair grows. The regimen that you adopt after shaving is so so important and the products that you use are so so important so i'm going to leave all the products that i use on the screen i'm going to include pictures of all the products on the screen well i personally like to shave with coconut oil um i think coconut oil is very very good to use down there especially if you're i think we're I think we can say that the vagina is very sensitive, like for everyone. Um, it ranges to a degree, but overall the, vag the vagina is sensitive. And so if you're going to be shaving down there, I think coconut oil is your best option. It's a, it's a natural lubricant. And if you happen to get a cut while you're shaving, it's not going to burn, right? Because it's coconut oil. It's not a shaving cream with tons of chemicals in it. So I highly recommend using coconut oil when you shave. Um, the, the downside to that is that the the razor can get very clogged. Um, that's one of the reasons why I was saying you should use two. Car you should buy two cartridges um, of the the Venus razor is because it may not be able to handle the oil from the coconut oil that you put down there as opposed to shaving cream where you can just wash it off. It's not like that for coconut oil because it, it stays in there. So get at least two cartridges to switch out when you're shaving. I highly advise coconut oil. When you're done shaving, it leaves the area so soft and moisturized. Sometimes you'll notice that if you use shaving cream down there to shave, um, it just gets very dry and itchy over time. And it can even throw off your pH because there are chemicals in that. So let's get into more detail about how exactly you should be shaving to get this, to get the closest shave, but to also make sure that you're not nicking yourself, you're not cutting yourself with the with the blade down there. Um, as I mentioned previously, coconut oil will be your best friend because it'll help that razor glide and slide. If you're using shaving cream and you're washing off the shaving cream and like tapping off your razor over time you're gonna run out of shaving cream in some areas you won't notice and you'll go to shave and you'll nick yourself and you'll start to bleed i've experienced that don't do that use some coconut oil it's hard to demonstrate without like a figure um but let's say this is your girl right and you have the razor right here and you're shaving like this to the right your, your your hand is going to be holding the opposite side to like make it taut, right? It would be the same thing if you were shaving your armpits and you were using the opposite hand to pull the skin. Obviously the vagina has like many folds and creases, so you wanna make sure that you're stretching things out as much as possible to get the closest shave. So make sure you're pulling a little bit and shaving the area. So let's talk about an aftershave or aftercare routine that really works um, and will help you maintain the results that you're looking for after shaving. So the first thing is having exfoliating gloves. Exfoliating gloves are going to use it like two or three times every single week. If you if you skip exfoliating, just forget this whole video, forget everything I said, forget everything. If you skip exfoliating during the week after you shave, forget it all. Just throw the whole video away. Throw everything away, throw, throw it away. Throw the tips away, throw everything away. Throw the razor away. You, you need to exfoliate. You need to exfoliate at least two to three times a week. Why? Because you notice that if you don't exfoliate, you're gonna get an accumulation of dead skin in that area. It's going to start to itch, it's gonna start to burn. You're not really allowing your skin to have like cell turnover and allowing it to heal over time because you're not taking away that dead skin and you're not allowing your skin to show its 
you know, it's a rejuvenated layer after you exfoliate each time. I'm not saying you exfoliate every single day. Do not do that. Please do not exfoliate every single day because even for the people with the least sensitive skin, I feel like that's a little too harsh, but this isn't medical advice. You wanna exfoliate every other day in the shower. Um, and the best tool to use to exfoliate are the, the viral, I know y'all have seen these, the viral Amazon um, TikTok exfoliating gloves. I'll leave a picture on the screen, obviously. Um, but those gloves, they're actually really good. You can get them on Amazon for like four or five, six dollars, seven dollars, and you'll get like a pack of three or four or five. They're super affordable, so definitely make sure that you invest in exfoliating gloves. The way they work, you basically just get, you use them in the shower, you put them on in the shower, you get them wet, and you put your favorite cleanser on there, rub it together, allow it to get all sudsy, and then you work the area. So for the soap, so for the soap that you wanna be using down there, I would suggest using the soap that you already use down there. Like if you have a feminine, a feminine wash that you use on the daily, that's what I would put onto the gloves and go to work with makes sense don't use anything harsh because obviously you just shaved the skin is more vulnerable right just go in with the feminine wash that you use every single day i don't think the cleanser or the soap matters as much as just having a form of exfoliation um but yeah exfoliating is key if you don't exfoliate this video doesn't even matter nothing i say even matters if you don't exfoliate so ex after exfoliating the next important thing that you want to make sure that you're doing after you shave down there as a routine thing is moisturizing 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 coconut oil use it to shave and use it to moisturize during the weeks um in between shaving right so after you're done exfoliating in the shower or if it's even a day where you're not exfoliating that day when you get out of the shower even before you go ahead and use a moisturizing product you want to make sure that you're using some sort of product that's helping to reduce ingrown hairs to reduce inflammation to reduce redness to reduce burning all of that and the product that the girls have been raving about, this is a product that I have even tried and it has transformed my bikini area from shaving. That product is PFV Vanish. PFV Vanish. There are tons of videos on YouTube that you can also go and watch to learn more about this product. PFV Vanish is the truth. It lightens your bikini area. It diminishes any sort of ingrown hairs, redness, bumps over time. It's just amazing and a super staple product that you need to have if you're going to have a routine of shaving down there instead of getting waxed or doing laser hair removal. Because I've waxed a few times and the times when I did wax, I also used PFV Vanish or another product that was supposed to help with ingrown hairs and those were still necessary even though I was waxing. So if, if you're watching this video and you wax instead of shave, um, that's fine also, but I definitely do recommend the PFV Vanish if you're shaving. It's going to make your life so much easier. That redness you get, the itching you get down there, um, when the hair starts to grow back, all of that stuff, girl, gone, gone. PFV Vanish is the truth, okay? You can find it on Amazon as well. So make sure you read all the details on the product to you know come up with how you want to use it in your routine but basically i would never use it every single day i would use it every other day and i would never use it on the day that i use um physical exfoliation right on the days that i use the gloves in the shower i wouldn't use pfv vanish because you don't want to do chemical exfoliating and physical exfoliating on the same day that's that's too much that's too much and i think it also says on the bottle like don't use physical um, exfoliators and this product at the same time. I know like in the years before, whenever I would be watching these videos, because I was truly clueless before on how to take care of my bikini area and how to prevent ingrown hairs, razor bumps, inflammation, redness, itching, etc. I genuinely trusted the girls on YouTube 
um, but it did get super overwhelming because everybody's saying different things. But if you get anything from this video, it's just to prioritize your razor one and then have a really good routine that you make sure you stick to in the days in between your shaving, right? Get you a good razor. Don't skimp out on your razor. You deserve a good razor, okay? Get yourself a good razor. The Venus one is made specifically for pubic hair removal, so get that one if you can. If you cannot, it's okay. Get a razor that has um, a higher count of blades on it or is made for men with beards. <laughs> Um, yeah, so get a razor, get a razor with a higher count of blades on it if you can't get the Venus one. The Venus one is, is top tier, top tier. Just make sure you get a razor with a high blade count, one. Get those exfoliating gloves from Amazon, two. Get you a good moisturizer, right? Get you a good moisturizer or oil, something oil-based that you, you can use to moisturize and it's sensitive enough to go down there. Three and four is something that's super important also, right? The PFE Vanish. Razor, physical exfoliator, oil-based product to moisturize, and PFE Vanish. Those are the four things. Those are my tips on how to shave your girl down there and my favorite products to use to prevent ingrown hairs, razor bumps, itchiness, redness, and inflammation after shaving. I hope this video helped you and you learned a few things um, that you can implement in your routine. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you aren't subscribed yet and you enjoyed this video thoroughly, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button or give this video a thumbs up or both. Really appreciate you and I will see you in my next video. Have a good day and always remember, you are magnificent, you are worthy, and you are beautiful. Bye.